Hey, my name is Jim. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Jim. How can I assist you with your health care needs today? I have an injury to my finger. I'd like to share an image with you. Uh, can I do that? Yes. Please send the image. I will review it and provide a professional assessment of your finger injury. Thank you for sending the image. Based on what I see, there is significant bleeding present in the area between the first and second joints of your index finger. There also appears to be some tissue damage visible. To provide a more accurate assessment, could you please tell me? One, what was the mechanism of injury? Two, are you experiencing any numbness or tingling in your fingers? Three, have you had this type of injury before? No, I haven't had this type of injury before. I don't have any tingling or numbness, and I was handling a knife when I got the injury. Okay, Jim, thank you for that information. Given your description of the mechanism of injury, handling a knife, the location of the bleeding between the first and second joints on your index finger, and the absence of recorded numbness or tingling, it is likely there has been a laceration to the skin and underlying tissues. The fact that this is your first such injury suggests you have not had any prior medical history related to this type of trauma. The initial management should focus on controlling the bleeding. Apply direct pressure to the wound with a clean cloth or dressing for at least 10 to 15 minutes without lifting the cloth to check if it has stopped bleeding. If bleeding persists after 15 minutes of continuous pressure, seek immediate medical attention. Once the bleeding is controlled and you are able to see the wound clearly, I recommend cleaning it thoroughly with mild soap and water. After cleaning, apply a topical antibiotic ointment, such as bacitocracin or neosporin, followed by a sterile bandage. Change the dressing daily or more often if it becomes wet or soiled. I am unable to provide definitive diagnoses or treatment plans without an in-person examination, but these initial steps should help stabilize your injury and promote healing. If you experience any worsening of symptoms such as increased pain, swelling, redness, or signs of infection, fever, seek medical attention promptly. I strongly suggest that you see a healthcare professional for evaluation and potential for management if the bleeding does not stop with pressure. Thank you for your time today. You are welcome, Jim. Please do not hesitate to contact me again should any concerns arise.